TypeScript Decorators Part 2. In this video, we are going to look at function decorators so we can override behavior of the functions. If you don't know about me, I'm Mohammed Hassan. I'm a Google developers expert in Angular and I'm also a software architect who has been in the software industry for more than nine years. If you like it, press the thumbs up button and without further ado, let's get started. The example that I have for this video is really interesting. We have essentially a school which can have a couple of students and it also has a function called delete student so we can delete a particular student. Similarly, a student can have a name and also some subject and the student can also have this subject deleted so we can delete a subject in this case and finally we have the subject interface in this case and this is all TypeScript now in the end what I want to do is I want to show you the school the student the subject so if I run this you will see that this is the student that we got who has a name some subjects and then this is the school that has the students array and the student inside there now what I want to do is to delete the subject from the student first and we only have one subject so we can simply do it by just passing the subject to delete subject just like this and then what I also want to do is in the end to remove the student from the school so I can also use the delete student function on the school object and passing the student so it will delete the student as well so if I run now you can see that we got a student that has no subjects and then we got a school that has no students the ideal situation Mm, probably not now the decorator that we are trying to create is going to be a confirmable decorator which will ask the user before deleting or before executing this function and you can basically apply that decorator to any function that you want confirmation on so in this situation since i'm running on node.js environment I'm going to use a Node.js package, but if you're running on a browser, you can essentially use window.confirm and that should work exactly the same. For this, we have a file called confirmable. And in this file, we are going to create the decorator. First of all, I'm going to import the read line sync package so I can ask the user input. Then I'm going to create this confirm method here, which will basically get a message. Then we basically ask in the CLI the question that, hey, do you want to remove this? And with an option of Y or N. And in this case, we are going to basically show that to the UI. Then we are creating this confirmable function and a decorator essentially is just a function. So this is the decorator function and this function can receive arguments. So we are going to pass the message here so it can be passed to confirm. So the execution looks like we are going to import the confirmable inside index.ts. And then for example, for a student here, we are going to put the confirmable decorator here by passing a message here. And this is what's going to be interesting. So before we do that, let's go and make this work. So in this confirmable function, we are going to pass the message. So it is passed to the CLI question, but also this function should return another function because that's how decorators are created. This function, is going to receive the target, the key, and the descriptor. And this is because we are modifying a function. You can ignore the target and the key in this case. What's important is this descriptor because this holds the magic to override the function behavior. The first thing that we do is we need to take out the original function, the delete subject, so we can hold it somewhere and then we call it when we want to call it. If the confirmation says yes, then we call it. Otherwise, we don't call it. So we need to get a hold of this function, which is going to be applied around decorator and also this delete student as well because it could be any function. So we first get the original function just like this using descriptor.value. Then we assign a new function. So we are overriding the behavior now. We are creating a new function in which first we are going to confirm and then we can call this original function. So we are going to first confirm and then call delete student or delete subject. So in this function, we basically get the arguments, whatever those arguments are. And we are going to have a look at what those arguments could be. But notice this, we confirm and we need to pass this message now to the confirm function. Then it will return back the value of allow. Then we can check if the value of allow is okay. Then we do original dot apply. So we are actually calling the original function, the original function being the delete subject or the delete student method but hey we also want to pass this student somehow or get this student first so we can call it for the exact same reason we have this args that we just talked about so this descriptor value function basically stores the arguments and then it calls the original function with those arguments and once it does it basically returns the result that's pretty much it if the allow is not okay then we can just return null and make sure to finally return the descriptor because this whole function is supposed to return turn back the descriptor so the function is actually updated now that we have this we can try it out but you will notice that this output or this input basically should get either y or n and we are treating this as a boolean so we can say something like if this is y or y then essentially we take it so we say capital y or small y then we basically execute it otherwise we don't now we can save this and now talk 
about index.ts. In this case, we are importing the confirmable function and we are going to apply this as a decorator in this case. So we apply it right here. We pass the function. Are you sure you want to delete the subject? Now it will ask me before deleting the subject. So let's try to run this. Now that I run this, you can see that at the very top, it says, are you sure you want to delete the subject? Let's say if I say no in this case, then you can see the student still has the subject, but the school does not have the student. So it basically ran as expected. Now let's run it again. And now I'm going to say yes. And if I hit enter, now you can see that the subject does not exist inside a student. So it was able to delete the subject after my confirmation. Super cool, right? Similarly, we could go ahead and apply this decorator with a different message to delete student. So we can say confirmable here and we can pass the message. Are you sure you want to delete the student because we are deleting a student here. And if I run this, then it's going to first ask me about subject. I can say yes. And then I can say, do you want to delete the student? I will say no in this case. And if I do so, the subject should be removed from the student, but the school is still contains the student as you can see. So now this is super cool. I can run this again and now delete both of those things. I can delete the subject. You can see that there's no subject and I can also delete the student. So you can see there are no students in the school. And that's how you would create a decorator that you can apply to a function in TypeScript. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, press the thumbs up button. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already and share this video with others so we can help this channel grow. As always, happy coding. I'm going to see you in the next video.